Well, we're here with Dr. Christensen um, from um, uh, from Honolulu, or at least close to Honolulu, and uh, she'll explain us um, a little bit exactly where it is. But Dr. Christensen is a very interesting uh, type of doctor. First of all, she's trained in Western medicine about, uh, you know, normal medicine, and she's an MD as far as I know. And she's also trained very well in the Eastern medicine, which is, uh, you know, be it chiropractic, be it, uh, uh, be it uh, acupuncture, and, and all kinds of other things. And she'll tell us more about it. And it's the mixing up, the fusion of those two things, basically the best of both worlds, which she's using to heal people. Um, and uh, that seems to be working very well and it makes a lots of sense to me, of course. Um, so, Dr. Christensen, tell us a little bit. First, tell us exactly, you know, in terms of location, where, um, you know, where are you, uh, you know, in, 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 uh, in relation to Honolulu? The city where I practice is called Kailua. Okay. And it's about... Ten miles away from Honolulu, All right? Yeah? And it's the island of Oahu, and so that's the um, Oahu is the most populated island, and it's beautiful. Oh, wonderful. We have a natural, natural energies in in this area. It's just very beautiful. Do you know that I never yet made it to the uh, Hawaiian Islands at all, ever? You're very welcome to come visit me anytime. <laughs> I uh, might, I might want to do that. My wife um, has visited once before she met me some 25 years ago, um, but um, and she doesn't like the sun too much. You know, she takes an umbrella when she goes from the garage to the car. So um, I have a hard time getting her there and convincing her to, 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 to scroll the beaches during the day. But in any case, let's talk about you. Describe in your own words uh, what I kind of like tried to say here in a clumsy way about you mixing up um, Western medicine and Eastern uh, practices uh, and, and tell us what benefits that has and uh, how you go about it, uh, Dr. Christensen, please. Very good. I came up as a Western doctor, but then I found out that there are some areas that the drug doesn't really treat people, especially for the group of people who do not respond to the drug, and they're chronically ill, chronically pain, and they have developed a tolerance to the drugs. And these people were left behind because they're just always hurting. They always feel tired. Depression doesn't seem to be doing good. And then I discovered the Eastern medicine. After I get trained, I realized there's a missing link. It's the energy medicine. Then I put two together, those who don't do well with the conventional Western medicine, maybe benefit with the energetic medicine. And we can get into more detail, talk about what's energetic medicine. So we basically put the best of two worlds together, and we can help people in a much, much wider way. And those who get left out because of chronically ill, they can benefit from this. And I'm very excited about this treatment. Well, I'm sure you are. Um, you know, I myself, um, you know, I'm, of course, of the firm belief that... Um, you know, yes, doctors are needed, and here and there their medicine is pretty good too. Doctors, uh, Western doctors I'm talking about, uh, are pretty good in diagnosing things. Uh, but then most of their treatment is uh, basically, you know, giving the person some type of drugs. And the way I see it, God didn't make us born with a deficiency of drugs. So that's not exactly how it came about. So... While I would be, when I could, for instance, go to a dentist, while I tell the dentist to shoot me up because I don't want to be hurting, wrong or right, but I do that. However, at the same token, being 58 years old, um, I haven't taken an aspirin since my mom shoved it into me uh, some uh, 43 some years ago. Um, and, um, you know, I do take, you know, food a little bit. I think it was... Um, it was, uh, I don't know who said it, but he said, you know, all medicines are food and all foods are medicine. I don't know who said that, but somebody said it. Uh, uh, do you know who said it? Very true. I don't remember, but that was very true. I mean, in Chinese medicine, talk about food all the time. It's, it's like a natural way. And how you eat 
Mm-hmm. It's who you are. Right. And, yeah, yeah, it may be it may be Hippocrates, the father of medicine, actually, who said that. In fact, that is who it was. Uh, come to think about it now. Um, so, uh, and um, and you know, while there is sometimes a need for medicine to short term. Uh, it's the long-term chronicle, as you mentioned, and it's the lack of energy. And I see it with young people, almost more than with old people, um, where they're waking up tired. They're waking up fatigue. Yes, um, it, exactly. It's quite an amazing thing. And yes, a lack of energy, you know, uh, for instance, my wife... Um, when she first met me, some, as I said, 24 some years ago, uh, she sometimes thought that I'm upset with her because I wasn't talking to her. Because normally, I, you know, I, I bubble off my mouth, and so does she, and then we just go quack, quack, quack. And when I was quiet, she thought I was upset. Till she finally, a year or two later, figured out when I wasn't talking, I was tired and exhausted. Now imagine if that happens, what happens to your thought process? You don't want to solve problems. You don't want to having new ideas. You're just not fun to be around, and you look depressed. And if your energy medicine, uh, uh, as you call it, will help that out, I think that's going to be a wonderful thing, and I am look forward to getting into, um, into those things um, uh, a lot more with you. But it's fascinating that you, being actually of Eastern background, First went into Western medicine and then went back to something more uh, uh, out of your roots uh, uh, yeah. to do so. Um, but whichever way it is, um, I, I always enjoy talking to people who uh, have both backgrounds so that they don't, you know, like if you give a carpenter and how many, you know, it, they will fix everything with a hammer and a nail. That's what they know how to fix it. You give it to a metal engineer like I am, for instance, I will weld everything together and will use metal. But if somebody knows welding and carpentry, he will use the right way. And there are more things than welding and carpentry also how to do it. And then we'll use the more correct way of doing it, not use one way because that's all we know. Like a surgeon, all he knows is how to cut. And so cutting he does. And sometimes there's a need for it. But many times there isn't. Thanks a lot, um, um, uh, and I'll speak to you later.